Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media. IPO Press Release June 19, 2024 The plans by the Nigerian army to bomb Ogburu communities in Anambra State is A. A premeditated genocide action against Ndigbo The attention of the noble family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, AB led by the great indefatigable leader, Mazinan Nandio Kuchuku Kanu has been drawn to the genocidal plans to unleash military attack by the Nigerian army by bombing some peaceful communities in Ogburu LGA of Anambra State. Why will the Nigerian army plan to bomb a community in the southeast for petty crimes but refuses to bomb northern communities for the murderous activities of internationally recognized terrorists organizations like Boko Haram and Iswap in the north? Sometime early this year. IPOB raised alarm through a press statement on the plans of the Nigerian army to bomb some communities in Ogburu LGA of Anambra State. The murderous Nigeria army retreated their plans, but have not jettisoned their wicked agenda to bomb Ogburu community in the name of looking for IPOB members. Nigerian army has no good intentions regarding Indigbo. That is the reason IPOB cautioned the Anambra State Governor Prof. Chukuma Charles Saludo and other governors to stop importing the Nigerian murderous army into Biafra. Prof. Chukuma Saludo thought that militarizing Ogburu LGA and other communities would stop insecurity. Instead, the presence of the soldiers has increased insecurity. The soldiers deployed into Ogburu are also involved in illegal oil bunkering, thereby contributing to the insecurity of the area. The planned military bombing of the communities is a cover-up to the involvement of Nigerian soldiers in the illegal oil bunkering activities in Ogburu, Anambra State. Therefore, IPOB is once again calling on the Anambra State Governor and the Nigeria Army to stop their genocidal plans of bombing any community in Ogburu, Anambra State, and Biafra land in general. Anambra State is not in a state of war, that will warrant the Nigeria army to deploy fighter jets to bomb the civilian population. IPOB still remains peaceful in the pursuant of Biafra liberation through referendum, but we cannot be silent when the Nigeria state has planned to commit genocide against our people. If the Nigeria army declared war on Biafrans by bombing innocent communities in Ogburu or any other community in Biafra land, ESN may be compelled to try to stop them from carrying out the genocide against our people. IPOB is calling on Prof Chukwuma Charles Saludo not to permit the shelling of his people for whatever reason. If the Nigeria military has not bombed the communities in the north because of the activities of terrorists and bandits who are murdering the soldiers, police and civilians daily, what justification do the Nigerian army have to bomb any community in Biafranland? Prof. Saludo should not allow his desperation to win the second tenure make him allow the massacre of his people. Nigerian soldiers are one of the enemies of the Biafran people. Deploying them to stop civil unrest or petty crimes is like pouring fuel into the fire. There is no crime in Ogburu LGA, only the crimes perpetrated by criminals recruited as Osamala vigilantes who are highly involved in criminal activities going on in Ogburu Eljanambra state. Prof. Saludo should stop the boys he recruited into crime for his second term elections, which is coming up soon. Prof. Saludo should call his ragtag soldiers to order because there will be retaliation if any attack happens in Ogburu LGA. I put calls on the Nigerian military to stop the invasion and allow Ogburu people to live in peace and do their farming business. Ogburu is a farming and fishing community that produces food for buyer friends. Any attempt to bomb such an important community will be considered an act of aggression towards Ndigbo and will be collectively retaliated against anyone seen as part of the ugly plan against that farming community's water resources and or genocide against those buyer friends. But the Nigerian army is becoming a terror to buyer friends. The Nigeria military harassment and intimidation against buyer friends must be stopped before Ndigbo resorts to self-defense. Then the Nigeria army will realize that no one has the monopoly of violence. The criminal vigilantes in Ogburu colluding with the military to destabilize the peaceful communities in Ogburu will pay for the treacherous actions. IPOB and ESN are here to defend our land against internal and external enemies. No amount of threat or harassment will make ESN back down from their responsibilities. Biafra land belongs to Biafrans, and we must defend it with all our might until Biafra comes.
Comrade Emma Powerful Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.